Hi, this is Carl with another SOP video for managed service providers. Today, I want to talk about a couple of specialty passwords that you use for running your business. In particular, I want to talk about things like alarm codes and voicemail passwords. Now, there are many layers of passwords and the people who say that you have to have the biggest, most complicated, sophisticated password systems in the world, no matter how unimportant the data is, I think those people are silly. And a great example is if there's a code to get to the garbage bins or the bathroom, as far as I'm concerned, you can post that right on the bulletin board. You can put it on the, the dry erase board. That's all good. I don't consider that a very secure thing. Now, there are some passwords like operational passwords, such as the voicemail that I think people need to be a little more secure than is normal. There's not a great deal of damage that can normally be done if somebody gets your voicemail password, but the system is designed by default for you to have unique passwords and you should use them. It should not be the case that everybody in your company can get to everybody else's voicemail. There's just no point in having that since it can be customized. You might have the office manager assign passwords to individuals or let them assign their own. You should not let people use a password that is a variation of their home phone or their, their extension number. I mean, again, it's just like any other password. Don't be stupid goes a long ways in giving advice about passwords for voicemail. If you have a standard system for setting up passwords and therefore everyone can know everyone else's password, for example, 3101 is the password for extension 101. If you do something like that, you do run the risk that people will get into information that they don't really have a right to get into. Somebody should understand your voicemail password system well enough to reset passwords and get in there if somebody is uh, asked to go work for another company, let's just say. I don't want to use the word fired. But other than that, most people should just be able to manage their own passwords. And for the most part, clients should not be calling cell phones. They should be calling your primary system. So if a technician leaves, the voicemail is on the system somewhere and then it needs to be cleaned out and then it needs to go away. Whatever you decide to do with voicemail passwords, you should have it documented. We use the following system, ta-da! And this is the person whose job is to know how to reset passwords and so forth and so on. A related kind of password, operational password, would be your security system. And again, this is one of these things where having customized passwords is built in by default. So the alarm company can set up individual passwords for everybody. Your office manager or someone in your office should have the ability to reset passwords, set up new passwords, assign them to people and so forth. Sometimes people use the same shared password for everybody. And that has a couple of disadvantages. First of all, by default, the, the alarm system can track who came in and who went out at what time of day. So if everybody uses the same password, that goes away. And as a result, you can't track, oh, why did somebody come in the office at 10 o'clock at night and leave at one o'clock in the morning? Who was that? You have no idea because it's the same password for everybody. A second problem with that is that when somebody leaves your company, you should absolutely reset the alarm system. But if it's only one person that has the code, you only have to set that one person's code. If everybody shares the same code, now everybody in the entire company has to learn a new code. So again, it's not a very great uh, thing to do under any circumstances, but it has some serious disadvantages. One reason that some people give for having the same password for everybody is they can't figure out how to reset the password codes. Guess what? I know somebody who knows how to do that. The alarm company, they, 
They can always figure this out. They will give you the instructions. You just have to write it down, put it into a book. Your office manager or whoever can then manage passwords from that moment going forward. Big, big picture, this kind of physical security and access to voicemail and security systems is a lot less important for most small businesses, but it's not unimportant. It's not negligible. It needs enough attention so that you do it right. And no matter what you do, doing it right means writing it down distributing that policy and making sure everybody understands how you do business. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polachuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Here's your SOP for this video. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and share it on social media. And if you haven't visited SOPforSMB.com, now's a great time to do that as well.